All right, new at six tonight, a taco truck owner disarms a would-be robber. Now the attempted robber sits behind bars this evening. News Channel 5's Kimberly Davis explains how the owner took matters into his own hands to protect his employees. The owner of El Antojito says it's usually busy around lunchtime. But when an armed robber came to the back of his food truck, no one was around except his three employees. When I opened the door and get out the gun. Luis Godoy tells us he wasn't worried about his life. All he could think about were the three frightened women inside the truck. The ladies is scared and I tell her it's okay. Don't worry. Stay right there. Don't move. Luis opened the door and told the man to come in and take what he wanted. While the man was walking in, that's when Louise clenched the suspect's throat. And I have the gun. When I have the gun, turn around right here and walk right there. And I'm pushing. After a brief struggle, Lewis was able to disarm that suspect after firing one round at that armed robber. He continued to take off across the street where the chase later ended at the Waffle House. And I tell you, stop. We ain't not stop. One more time, boom. Luis is just glad the robbery ended with him behind the loaded weapon and the would-be robber behind bars. When the first time, boom, I'm scared because this is full, you know. In Nashville, I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5. Romero Wright was arrested for attempted robbery last night and is being held on a $25,000 bond.